Bitcoin has officially hit an all-time high for 2024, hitting a price point of up to almost $50,000, $48,500 to be exact. We have exploded out of a beautiful symmetrical triangle we've been tracking on the two-hour charts. You can just see the landslide movement that has taken place once we saw that opportunity to buy in here. It has just been an immersive explosion to the upside ever since. And as we've said in the past couple of days here, there was many of opportunity to buy in and take advantage of this position here, being able to buy in as it was not too late. And this goes for beyond just Bitcoin here. We also have cryptos like Ethereum, which have exploded outside its beautiful symmetrical triangle. This ended right on about February 5th. So this is about six days ago here, but we started to see on the four hour charts, a symmetrical triangle filling in the gap here. Once we saw that confirmation buy-in, we had a small bull trap but ever since then it has been an explosion to the upside here same goes with solana pretty much every single cryptocurrency you had an opportunity on just last week to take advantage of here a little bit smaller on solana but again we had discovered that there was some sort of very similar symmetrical triangle forming here there was a lot of this consolidative price point you can see with the price here same thing is happening right here with solana but the second we got confirmation trade outside the four hour resistance here it was a big explosion to the upside which is extremely exciting to discuss and that same thing also applies to you guessed it big uh xrp which has also had a big rally a big moon blast to the upside here you can see this is also the start of what could be a continued movement to the upside we had a beautiful kind of symmetrical or descending fractal forming right here filling in the gap you can see the problems it's been causing here just not really being able to break through this major resistance here finally we were able to do so which was a small opportunity to take advantage of the run it was definitely an aggressive one nonetheless as we've pretty much hinted at consistently on the channel here. And we ended up drawing some sort of sideways channel, just kind of a, a price ceiling um, in reference to where this moving average was. You can see the bullish cross we just had right here on the moving average, the green band crossing above the red band. But it was just kind of saying, hey, this is the peak. We need a break above that if we really want to take advantage of this and buy in. And you can see we pretty much had that confirmation two days ago. On uh, Friday the 9th, we were able to see that confirmation closure above this major resistance. You had multiple kind of windows it was very aggressive here and it was more conservative over here where we had a wick to the downside too but you could see ideally in the long run we should be breaking out of this moving to the upside and that's pretty much what we've been calling and talking about consistently here on the channel for days and that's what we're going to have to talk about today as well and i also have a few articles so with that being said make sure to smash that like button turn on post notifications subscribe let's jump right into today's episode so kind of the difficult decision to talk about in today's video is that we could be seeing some sort of uh uh, resistance we could be seeing a high the top for most of the major cryptocurrencies as we have become extremely overbought across the board here we're also going to look at xrp as i do think there is still potential for it to continue to move up i'm just not sure how much higher it's going to go because we have cryptos like bitcoin and ethereum and maybe even solana that are all overbought it's usually a sign that we're going to probably start to peel lower so lots of interesting things to go over but before i do obviously for those that uh, aren't or for those that aren't familiar, you know, those that are, definitely make sure to check out BidFi. But for those that aren't familiar, make sure to go claim your free $100 in the link down in the description below or click the sign up on uh, the sign up. Uh, what is this QR code right over here? It's a way for you to get um, $100 free by literally completing your first deposit and trading for new users. And there's also a trans transaction volume bonus that'll get you up to a VIP status if you have traded enough volume here. So make sure to check that out down in the description below. More about BidFi later on in today's video. But lots of things we have to go over. As we've talked about numerous times here on the channel, I've been mentioning this since mid-2023, talking about the fact that Bitcoin should most likely be going and veering over $100,000, specifically because we've also made videos I've even referenced, and we can go back even earlier, but talking about the Bitcoin halving and how we... Pretty much this year is going to cause a lot of people to become new millionaires. And, you know, you could be one of those two, depending on how you take advantage of the market movements here. But basically, the fact is we're all experiencing and expecting to see this kind of... Um, big run coming for cryptocurrency, Bitcoin specifically, and altcoins because the halving is right around the corner. We have February, we have March and April, halving is in April, before we see some sort of pretty solid movements to the upside. And typically the market does 
fully pump up to the uh, the halving, and then we end up going even higher afterwards, which is what we expect. Now, we did, and we were able to capitalize off this bullish run here. We started to see hints going a couple days, four to five days ago, we started to see a couple hints of us breaking through resistance here. Then you can see we actually started to confirm it, talking about how you should be doing this right now, and it's not too late to get in, and boom goes the price. And then just two days ago, sorry, I was traveling yesterday here, but just two days ago, we made a video, yet again, showing you the beautiful breakout and how this would pretty much be your last chance to take advantage advantage of this market movement to the upside here. And that's exactly what we have to talk about today, that now might be your chance to either A, take profits, B, get ready for a possible correction to the downside, as there's a good chance we're, we've pretty much peaked at the top. We've become overinflated and we could start to crack lower. But just want to show you how now market sentiment is starting to change. Lots and lots and lots of new articles are coming out talking about the fact that Bitcoin could be hitting $100,000. Bitcoin just rallied more than 150% 150, uh, 150 to a price of $45,000 here. And basically talking about the Bitcoin ETFs and more so the halving. That's the main focal point that this is talking about. Just like that, the Bitcoin halving. That's the ultimate thing here. The Bitcoin ETF story might not be the biggest story of the year for Bitcoin. Obviously, the much anticipated Bitcoin having is a main focal point for the markets here. If there's still even the same amount of volume that's happening right now, we should see the price naturally increase just because of the having the rewards get split which makes it more difficult to get there's more supply and the having should ideally cause the prices to go up if volume stays the same and more likely more than likely volume is actually going to continue to go up so it'll be quite interesting to see how exactly this market fares in the very near future uh moving forward i also want to look at this article here which is talking about how all coins as well as bitcoin are flashing bearish signals among this broad market rally here just really quickly to dive in you can see um where do we go da, 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 da. okay as crypto total market cap grows have rocketed upwards this week about six percent and volume has soared 65 percent compared to the previous week all coin interest has risen when this occurs while prices rise it can also be a sign of greed and you can basically see like local market tops that he's referencing here consider each time you can see oh we've had a market top correction market top correction market top correction here we are again market top more than likely going to see a correction and it's pretty accurate considering this is a pretty new movement into the markets here and so we also want to look at too i want to pull up the coin market cap here you can see we're up quite a bit volume has kind of dipped down just a tiny bit here but overall cryptos are soaring to the upside fear and greed is no longer at 50 55 we're back to 67 on the fear and greed index and every crypto has exploded all the all the altcoins excuse me have exploded as well are all exploding to the upside here over double digits we're finally seeing green in the market cap here if i go to the past seven days this crypto is up over 90 percent beam is up 47 lots of cryptos are starting to explode to the upside by no surprise because it's big brother bitcoin is starting to capitalize on more volume up 12 percent bitcoin oh sorry ethereum's up nine and a half so xrp is up four you can see solana's up 12 every crypto pretty much had you have put money into would have inevitably earned you a profit nonetheless and we've talked about this considerably in my past couple of videos here now the main focus is how high are we going to be moving to so for those on xrp again if you've already taken advantage, if you've already purchased in right around this level as an aggressive trader here, this was an opportunity and you could still potentially profit off our target price point up to moving average right here at about 57 cents. For those that got in closer, maybe up at 52 cents, at least move your stop loss up and you should be up a tiny bit here, but there's a chance this could continue to correct to moving average. That's the ideal target movement that we're expecting to see hit now you can see here on the relative strength indicator here this is pretty much the main focus of when to buy in you can see we've been tracking this rsi for days now days and days and days and we were waiting for that opportunity to break we almost did it a couple of days ago here on uh, january 28th and we almost did it again on february 3rd but it caused us to bounce off bottom support and you can see we've just exploded outside of it as expected here because this is building up steam and it's building up pressure and eventually that pressure pops and you can see the markets are exploding to the upside here it's a very easy trade you can see we're also forming a big bull flag formation on xrp which is another sign that even if you've missed out on the opportunities recently to take advantage of xrp and it was a very small one at that we are still obviously moving up to moving average here to that top resistance here we haven't seen the biggest movement within xrp just yet all the other cryptos have 12 percent on Bitcoin, 
12% on Solana. Ethereum's only three and only 2% today. So you can see it hasn't had enough influence on XRP to scale it higher. So there's a chance XRP could continue to move up to moving average here or higher, which would be even cooler here, but it hasn't had the volume just yet. Maybe when crypto starts to leave Bitcoin and Ethereum, it could uh, you know delve into the other cryptocurrencies, which has happened many years ago, typically around the halving. So it'll be interesting to see that like money doesn't leave crypto it kind of disperses into the market more than just into bitcoin bitcoin is kind of like that entry coin of how money comes in so there's a chance we could continue to move up to here but ideally the goal we're looking for is something like that i know that's crazy but you know it's done it every single time on xrp seeing these major moon blast rallies here so that's kind of what we're looking for but we do have a little bit of time here so even if you've missed out you're okay on getting in for those that were playing it more moderate to aggressive you've made some profit here but as for the other cryptos this things were a bit harder a bit more difficult here these are like the prime opportunities to be buying in and taking advantage of it but you can already see we're becoming overbought on the four hour jumping to the daily where we very close to nearing overbought there's a chance um you can see this was also a simple one too like we had this beautiful bull flag once we confirm closure above here we were expecting to see a breakout maybe not straight up like that but ideally movement of a continued bullish direction here and that's exactly what we've been doing i mean from the point that we broke out we're up money and this was a bullish movement here we're up 17 percent since that breakout occurred and i mean it doesn't get any simpler than that and i'm 90 percent confident i have drawn on numerous occasions the bull yeah right here the bull flag on solana to when to buy in you can see solana we're referencing and you can see where I've shown the opportunities to capitalize. You can see right here, that's the beginning start of the breakout to the upside. It goes consistently. And we've been mentioning it for days. I mean, look, this is a clear pattern showing you the bull flag forming here and what we expect to see rally up higher. And we're doing that. It's not a straight bull run, but we are moving up nonetheless here on Solana. Clear as day, moving to the upside since the breakout actually occurred. So there's a chance, though, that it's going to slow down again. Maybe we'll slowly move on the market like that. That's kind of what has happened here. Maybe it won't be as uh, smooth, but maybe something like this and then pop could happen. I'm not entirely sure. We're going to have to wait and see what exactly happens here. But then you can see on Ethereum is a simple movement as well. Major break to the upside here, but it has become overbought on the four hour and also has become very close to overbought on the daily, giving us a little bit more room but we are going to have to cool off. Bitcoin is going to have to cool off. It's so clearly overbought. It's extremely overbought on the daily. That's the main focal point here. You can see we're already nearing a top as well, but we also discussed how this was the clear opportunity to buy into Bitcoin was once we can confirm a breach above this clear price ceiling. And we did that and we've exploded ever since. It was that simple. We said we've been trading inside of here and we need to wait for this to breach. Once we breach that price ceiling, that would be that opportunity to take advantage of. And you can see very similarly, it's done it right here. We've actually hit the same high as we have now. But typically what happens after that is we correct down. And there's a good chance that that's going to happen as well with, with the moving average. And, and Or at least to the moving average, excuse me. But because we're, we're also overbought. But with that being said, lastly, S&P, which is just pumping even higher. It's just the amount of money flooding into the markets right now is absolutely insane. But with that being said, make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.